All right. So, hello, everybody. My name is Will Peterman. I've uh, been attending this church since I was about six months old, I would say. Baptized here at six months uh, in this sanctuary, exactly. I've been a confirmed member for the past five years or so, seventh grade about. So, uh, yeah, I grew up in this church. My parents sent me to the daycare program when I couldn't sit through what I called big kid church as every kid that age called us it. Um, I was super involved through children's and youth ministries growing up. My mom directed MP Kids when we still had that program. Uh, that's actually what that video of me was from. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've volunteered in this youth group as long as I can remember. I've not only participated in leadership programs here at this church, but I've also extended my reach to the conference through programs like CCYM that allows me and some other great youth in the conference to plan some really amazing trips and retreats for other youth around the area. Stacy, you can't cry either, because then I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, that being said, that this church has meant a lot to me growing up. Um, I ran around these halls as a kid. Uh, I would definitely say that I grew up here, and I would like to continue to grow here even after I graduate. I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do with my future. Um, I've set up a plan for myself in a way that I've, I'm the most prepared I've ever been in my life, honestly. Uh, I'm joining the Coast Guard. Uh, after that, they're going to pay for my school. I like to think I'm pretty much set for life. Um, but with that brings a lot of anxiety and uncertainness. Um, it's such a fickle plan. If I break my finger, I can't join the Coast Guard. And I'm pretty accident prone, so that, that's pretty scary. Um, that being said, I'd like to move into the scripture I chose today with this fancy new Bible I just got. Uh, I chose Jeremiah 29 11, pretty common verse, but it's one I find myself turning to lately. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and not, or plans to give you hope and a future. So, as I said, growing up in this church has meant a lot to me and has truly shaped me into the person I am today. In this church, I have found a community that I can not only turn to when life just isn't going my way or just isn't good, but I've also found a lot of personal growth. I've learned a lot of lessons about myself that I don't think I could learn anywhere else. One of the big things being, up until the age of about 14, I thought the world revolved around me. And I can't remember who it was, but it was somebody here that looked at me and said, you are not the most important thing in this world. There are others around you. And that has completely shifted my life <laughs> for the best. Um, this place has taught me so much and I can't thank y'all enough for that. Uh, one of the things that worries me about moving into my future is the lack of presence this church will have in my life. Um, with the Coast Guard, I'll be moved around a lot. I'm going to New Jersey for two months then California for three months, and then wherever they want to send me. And I'm not sure if you all have noticed, there are no significant bodies of water around Plano. <laughs> so I will be away from this place for a very long time. And that hurts so much because y'all have been such a big part of my life. Um, and this generally is a problem a lot of young adults, college age students face. As we move on, as we grow, oftentimes our, shifts, our focus shifts. We are focusing on school, we're focusing on making new friends at our new schools, and our life is just different. And when Sarah asked me to answer some questions, one of them was, why is that happening? Why, is, why are so many young adults, college-age kids, turning away from the church? And honestly, I don't have an answer for that question. I wish I could, but to me it is something that just happens. And it's sad, but at some point it's unavoidable. But if I can ask one thing of y'all to help combat that issue, it's to stay in contact. Please, we have all these amazing outreach and ministry programs for this demographic specifically that is made to tie young adults back into the church to help us keep, stay rooted in our faith. And I just ask that y'all give as much to you can as that, even a slight check-in. Like, tech, if you have our numbers, text us, email us, call us, whatever you can because you never know what that's gonna do to somebody. Finals week, it's crazy, so <laughs> feel free to reach out. Um, 
yeah, the occasional checkup can just mean so much in our lives. And especially now, it seems like we live in such an uncertain world and such a constant, sadly, a constant state of fear that we struggle to change, but we can. So in the end, all we have is each other, right? It's, we're a community, we're a faith-based community, we're family at this church. And that's, that's the most important things in my life, personally, is the community I found here. And I think I speak for a lot of other people when I say that. So... Finally, I would just like to thank this amazing church family that I found for raising me. As Matt said, I'm not sure where he's sitting. In his devotion, I was raised in the bosom of this church. So thank you all for that. Thank you for just guiding me and teaching me all that you can. And I appreciate every single one of you more than you will ever know. Thank you. Hello. Okay, there we go. Hi. If you don't know me, my name's Adeline Hicks. I'm a senior at Plano East Senior High School, and I've been attending here basically every Sunday since I was about five. Um, my plans for the future, I'm going to Collin College and then the University of North Texas. I'm getting a major in behavior science and going into special education with a minor in American Sign Language. Um, super, super excited for my future, um, but I'll talk about it a little later about, you know, kind of the fears that go into that. Um, and just like some things I'm feeling, but I'm really excited to like share this place with y'all today. Um, so I've been going here since, I've about, since I was about five, like I said. So basically, if these walls could talk, I'm 100% sure they would have a lot of stories to tell about me. Um, I was here, I spent countless Saturdays here, early mornings and late summer nights preparing for things like the Easter egg extravaganza, Christmas nativity plays, and vacation Bible schools. Uh, my childhood was shaped by what I've come to call many moms, some members of children's councils, missions committees, and leadership teams that raised me, um, Kelly Blakey, Stacy Spears, and Amy Peterman, just to name a few. Um, I was there when the two youngest Bowen boys played baseball with a plastic bat and a tennis ball and left a dent in the office hallway. I was here when Mr. Accident Prone and Hayden Tolly got a little too rough roughhousing and Will ended up with a broken bone. Um, I've seen basically it all and I wouldn't have changed that for the world. This place shaped me, it molded and it mended me into the person standing in front of you today. Um, I grew up here with my mom being a children's minister. Like I said, I've I have, I have very few memories that weren't made in these walls. Um, but in 2018, my mom left her position here as children's minister to go back to school. But very quickly, um, it was God's will that she found herself back in the ministry. First at Creekwood United Methodist Church up in Fairview. And now she's the minister at First United Methodist Church Rockwall. Um, luckily, my parents were able to see how important this place and these people in front of me were. So, and since I was already a confirmed member of this church, they let me decide where to keep my membership. Um, so that's why I'm standing here today. So thanks, mom and dad. Um, but the answer gets a little more complicated and much more long-winded when somebody asks where I go to church. The answer right now is, well, my mom is the minister over at FUMC Rockwall and I teach Sunday school there. Oh, and I go to Lake Point Church in Firewheel on Wednesday nights in their youth group, but my home church is FUMC Plano. My home church is here and it always will be. Through all the ups and downs, through every curveball that life has thrown at me, one thing has stayed the same and that's these place, this place and these people. So many different, people of so many different walks of life, people whose paths may never have crossed with mine otherwise, all coming together to make a home, not just for me, not just for the seniors sitting in front and behind me, but for the senior classes that have come before us and will come after us. The verse, Corinthians 12, 12 through 14, highlights this wonder for me. For just as the body is one and has many parts, and all the parts of the body through many are one body. Also is Christ, for we are all baptized by one spirit into the body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, we are all given one spirit to drink. Indeed, the body is not one part, but many. I am fully aware that a lot's going to change for me in the next couple of months. Um, and even though I 
have my plan figured out and I know where I'm going and what I'm going into, I would be lying if I said I wasn't scared. Um, sorry, I told myself I wasn't gonna cry. Um, I, it's hard moving on, um, knowing that I won't have, not that I won't have the community, because I will, but that the face of it's going to shift a little bit is I'm sure something that we can all relate to is very scary. Um, but I also know that y'all aren't going anywhere, and neither am I, um, and that y'all are always going to be here for me and for these people in front of me and behind me, and I thank you guys for that. If y'all will pray with me. Almighty God, there are no earthly words that could express our love for one another in this place. Let all who worship in this body and under this roof know your grace, know your love, and find peace in you. God, we thank you for all of our seniors and ask that you watch over us in the, in, through our next endeavors and keep us close to you in mind, body, and spirit. We are thankful for our roots. You have gifted us such strong foundation. Help us be tools to plant new seeds and water those that are already planted all over the world. Amen. Thank you, guys. Hi, I'm Avery Spears. Most of y'all might know me as Stacy Spears' daughter, so. I've been a member of FUMC Plano since uh, confirmation, which was about five years ago, but I've been going here my entire life. I think this church has been like a very strong support system for me. Like all of my closest friends are here, like the ones that have been with me since elementary school, since pre-K, since middle school, or even the friends that I made recently, like every single one of them, I've had a really strong connection to. And all of the people here just like give me a lot of support and it's just like a second family. I hope that a lot of other people, um, younger people especially, uh, get the same experience that I had at this church because it just like, it really helped me and like some of my uh, favorite moments of my entire life like happened here and my favorite people are here so I hope that people take away that same experience that I did and I would wish that for everyone. Thank you all for being there for me and for loving me and supporting me and for putting up with me when I wasn't so um, funny or tolerable. <laughs> so, love y'all.